Hi, Women's Giving Circle of Missoula. I'm Steph Goble, the Executive Director here at Mountain Home in Missoula, and I am honored to be able to represent Mountain Home, the incredible staff we have here, and the inspiring families we serve to you all. And we're honored and thankful for this opportunity to be a finalist in your 2021 grant giving cycle. So a little bit background on Mountain Home. We provide shelter for young mothers who need a place to live and a network of support as they create safe, stable, and nurturing homes of their own. We know this is not an overnight quick fix, and that's why we created our wraparound two-generational model that I'll speak to in a moment. Mountain Home serves some of the most vulnerable families in our community, that being young moms and children who are homeless or are at very high risk of being homeless. They are pregnant or parenting mothers ages 16 to 24, and they can live in either our seven-bedroom communal living house or one of our five independent living apartments, which is attached to our house and our mental health center, um, where they can learn to build the confidence to parent and um, navigate all those um, real life challenges on their own, but with the security having trusting staff just a floor beneath them. So why we applied for this generous funding was that I don't think I'm shocking anyone by saying that there is a global staffing challenge going on, and we want to address that head on. We want to use this fun, these funds to invest in our staff um, in their professional development, especially our residential care coordinators, who are often the ones that are supporting moms through a crisis in their healing process and building up their, their skills as far as being parents and new parents. Um, so being able to give them that professional evidence-based um, development through uh, trauma-informed care, nurturing parenting, um, and also to be able to provide them competitive salaries and benefits so they themselves can um, thrive in um, our Missoula community. Um, we know there's a housing crisis going on and um, we want to recognize and preach what we practice what we preach for our own staff. Additionally, we want to be able to provide a, dish, uh, a bonus staff member um, during the busiest hours in the house so that we um, can create safe ratios between our families and our staff members. Um, right now is a perfect example that we have three brand new babies less than a month old in our residential program. And so being able to provide one extra residential care coordinator, care coordinator during those busiest hours just helps ensure that extra element of support um, giving a little bit of respite care to our young new moms and um, making sure that safety is a top priority. Um, when addressing the bullets of how Mountain Home um, makes an impact on our Missoula community with ho homelessness and how we empower those we serve, it speaks to that wraparound model. Um, we focus on the continuity of care um, and making sure that that once a mom is able to start to build towards that goal of sustainable housing, um, she still has the support of Mountain Home long after our residential program. I like to refer to our campus as a one-stop shop because they are able to get mental health services. Um, both mom and child therapists are available. Um, we also have case managers to help um, with finding that stable housing, doing the application process, making sure they have government funds where needed. Um, we also have a community center and peer support group um, where we can have outside experts come in to teach about financial stability. We can have um, book clubs and baby showers um, and build up that, that organic network of support. Um, we also have additional or educational services um, and supportive employment specialists who help moms finish their degrees if they weren't able to before or secure that employment to make sure that they can have sustainable housing. Um, while helping them feel investing in themselves and successful um, in meeting those goals. Um, and again, it speaks to longevity of making sure that when they exit into the greater community, they've built a foundation of, of confidence and knowing that they can sustain that lifestyle um, and not fall back to unhealthy coping mechanisms. Um, we've built this two-generational model and implemented the evidence-based curriculum by listening to our clients. We've made lived experience be part of, uh, of our growth and knowing that when there is a challenge, we face it understanding the real um, barriers uh, for our, our moms and our young kiddos. Um, we uh, find value um, for them and themselves and hope to help that continue as they go out into the greater community. Um, as far as our outcomes and how this um, grant funding uh, will be measured. Um, I'm proud to say we have an established program of how we know we've been successful in the past. 
Um, so setting goals like making sure we can um, house approximately 25 families in 2022 is reasonable and um, achievable. Um, just in 2021, we had 95% of our families leave a residential program with stable rental, meaning they actually were able to go get an apartment of their own and maintain um, living in that apartment without falling back to um, homelessness or relying on others. 86% um, of our moms were employed and pursuing education when they left our residential program. 80% of our children saw increase in their child, um, their health care. Um, our residential care coordinators, who you would be helping um, support uh, through this grant money, um, help with telehealth visits in the house through an iPad and making sure preventative care is, is um, maintained and establishing primary care. Um, so this is huge. We're addressing both mental and physical health. Additionally, 94% of our moms were using disciplinary appropriately with their kiddos and making sure that none of the trauma that they may have experienced in their life continues into that next generation. So we know that the outcomes are there. We know that we can achieve them. And we'd be so, so honored to be able to use your funds to continue to meet these goals and surpass them. Um, we are touched to know that the greater community wants to see our families succeed and we're so proud to be part of that process and navigating it with them. So thank you again for this opportunity. Um, please reach out anytime if you have ideas or questions or if you're looking to see um, all these amazing services in action. We're always happy to have visitors and do tours. So thank you, take care, and happy holiday season.